going to be showing you the absolutely wonderful light that occurs on the beaches in South Coast. Look here, you've got absolutely every environment around. You've got the open surf. You've got the rocks. You've got the dunes. You've got the scrubland behind the dunes. You have everything you could ever want. You have the reef habitat. You have so much on this southern coast. to the ants just moving around and they'll be eating and feeding so yeah we might be another chance to see another one we'll just see what happens that's truly a rare sight yeah i think we've got his buttocks there well i think we better leave it alone and uh this area here is great for the Sudanaja textilis, a the common eastern brown snake. I believe when you have a look, there's lot, there could be lots of frogs, and the frogs eat these uh, things that we saw before, the uh, jumping jacks of them in Australia. But I think what's more so is that they've just got an environment where they can eat, they can be comfortable, they're not in threat of human food like this. There could be one over here. I'm just going to go, you stay there first. Most of them, I like to have it upside down like an ape. If you've ever seen life in cold blood like I have so many times, <laughs> I just love the acrobatics of other animals and I try to replicate it at every opportunity. <laughs> I believe strongly <laughs> in the preservation of life and, well, the, I don't know if you call it the, the proposition that everything is equal. After we exited the bushes, we trekked along the track so we could get to the beach and look at that wonderful species there. We found some distractions along the way and they will be coming up right next. We have what's called as pig face, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but uh, what do you do if you smell? It is absolutely incredible. The saline component is gorgeous and ridiculously lovely. Hmm. In here we might find species such as Neptune's necklace, or if I could be involved, you might see a glass shrimp or two, anemones. There's just so much life to go for these snails, if I might be so bold as to touch one. You have, as I said before, you've got so much on this coastline. I don't know if you can see it, but we just stumbled across one of the wonderful marbles of the international world. There are two birds that are actually mating. One of the males is on top, and the female is on the bottom. As with other animals, the male is dominant, but there's actually more of them in the corner of the beach, so I think we can get a bit closer. The old fecal matter from the, uh, oh, God, woman, you hanged in it. It's all called fecal matter from the cormorant throat there. Lots of... I don't know if you can see this, but if we get a bit of zoom in on the camera, there's actually the, the footprints of the birds are here. Now, what does this show? It shows there's food in the area, it also shows it's a nice spot for them to nest because out of the way, nowhere near the civilization. And if you look over here, lovely grasslands, lots of camouflage. It is quite easy to become distracted when crawling through the swamp looking for animals. 
Luckily, me and my crew were able to push through this barrier and find some solid species. Here we have the dropping from obviously a red kangaroo or some other sort of form of wallaby. I think, being unhygienic as I am, I'll pick this up. And if you break it in half, you can see, oh that's lovely, it's still relatively fresh. So, obviously with unhygienic things you need to make sure you wash your hands afterwards, as always. I'm going to crawl through this bush here to see what's on the other side, because I've always been curious. But, it's middle snake season, it could be potentially deadly, so I have my medical support team on hand. Let's go. Oh, this is tough. Well, this is what's on the inside. If you can see this right here, this is what we were looking for before. It's a rabbit that has been deceased. We were actually looking for the one, but deceasedness is also very cool. Now, from its cause of death, I am not sure from looking at it, but the way that it's disemboweled, I would suspect a fox or... The sun. A symbol for life, and tomorrow we'll be looking at just that. Underwater, here on our great southern coast. The underwater world on our southern coast is vastly different to that above. The species, the plant life, and the animals have become adapted to suit the needs of the underwater environment. In our adventures underwater, me and my camera crew found many strange species. We attempted to attract them towards us with carcasses of snapper caught the night before. Unfortunately, this was not the case. The stingrays and sharks did not show up, so we were left to view other facets of the environment, including the weed and the smaller fish, including wrasse and bait fish. The fish you can see here are spawnings of the yellow eye mallet, a species which inhabits bays such as this, as well as the surf. These little ones are recently hatched and live in sheltered bays such as the Bay Beach at Cape Patterson. Calm, clear waters, such as the one in bays like this, attract many species of fish. I have no idea what this one is, but before I was looking at it, it was probably feeding. It is now off to rest its head away from prying eyes. As the sun goes down, the movie will come to an end. I would like to thank all those who have helped me along the way, for without you, it would have been a long and arduous journey. As David Matthews once said, no matter how dark the night, the sun will always rise and chase away all the shadows. <laughs>